Sports here. My name is Rob, and today we're going to the camp. Welcome to the Northern Frontier. My name is Rob. Welcome back to the cabin. Uh, so I've been out here a couple days now. It's about minus 20. Um, it's a beautiful day. It's not too bad. It's about, uh, I think it's around coming up to about one o'clock. Um, we're here in what can only be described as one of the coldest places on earth. Um, obviously there are colder places, but uh, yeah, no, we're here at the cabin. Um, you've seen a couple videos that I've done here so far. Um, well, I've probably actually only just one video, I imagine. Um, so I'm just going to give you a quick outdoor tour for um, our, for the winter. Um, just so then you can translate that back to some of the earlier summer videos that I've recently posted. So um, we're here at the cabin. Um, Got to fix that netting on there. Not sure why that's been pushed in. Probably a bit of wind or something. Could be cold weather. Yeah, so we've been out here, I think, about four times now in the winter. Um, she gets cooking inside. Um, I burn softwood. It's the pine or spruce. Um, it burns really well. I, if I can, if I stock up the stove in uh, the evening time, it lasts for about 4 a.m. So it's not too bad. It gives me enough time to get up and then kind of get it back lit again before it gets too cold. Um, I've tried to shovel pathways out throughout... Uh, you know, from edge of the cabin round, there's the old 1985 Tundra you would have seen in a previous video. Um, and yeah, you uh, pretty much, this is this is it. You can see the outhouse there in the background through the trees. Made a little path down to there. It's a little bit chilly. Um, it's a sponge type of seat. So it's not like super cold, like a porcelain. Um, so it's not too bad, uh, but uh, you want to be quick. Let's just say that. Um, Kind of buried out the fire pit here. Um, just cleared her out. Haven't had an outdoor fire yet. Um, I brought up uh, some water barrels for the for the dock that I mentioned in the prior videos. And um, yeah, yeah, that's pretty much it. The, I'm just here out on a visit, so I'm not going to be. I'm not inside. I haven't unlocked anything, but uh, she's cold inside. She's as cold as she is outside. Um, you know, when we first started to thinking about coming out here in the winter time, we were kind of debating on like, is everything going to be damp once it heats up, once the moisture kind of comes to life. Um, but it's actually all right. It's not too bad. Um, it's, it's not too bad at all. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to walk down to the old ice road here that we've got plowed in. Um, but you can see it's a, it's a nice, beautiful day here. Uh, it's not too bad. Here's the old cabin in the background. I'm going to put a picture up right now of some Aurora that I caught on a photo um one of the nights i was out here and the funny thing was is you could actually see it over these trees but you could faintly see it with the human eye but weirdly enough when i took the picture um my camera's got my camera's really good apparently and can pick it up better than the human eye uh, so it was actually really good so um that picture that you just saw there that's the one i caught but uh no i made a nice maybe i'll trail in um I pushed in, I tried to come in on the other side and got stuck on the sled. Um, so I basically, I pushed one in through these trees here, down to the lake and to where I park my vehicle. Um, just out here with the dogs having a bit of a run around. Thought I'd just come out here and check on the old cabin. It's been a few days since I've been out here. Could do with plowing the road. Not really sure what my plans are to maintain this ice road. So I have an ATV with a plow, that's an option. Um, I also have a couple of ideas when it comes to strapping a couple tires behind the Jeep and pulling it down the, uh, the ice road, collecting the snow as it comes, bring it all into this parking lot area here, right? So you could kind of see the ice road, uh, down there. Uh, you, yeah, there you go. You kind of see it. it's really hard when you have a white background on a, on a white background. Um, but, uh. Maybe if I, I my, my thought process, right, is to bring two big kind of truck tires out, strap them together with a ratchet strap and tie a couple ropes around them and tie them onto the hitch of my Jeep and drag it. 
So it should essentially pull all the snow with it as long as the tires don't flip over. So I'm going to give that a try probably next weekend. Obviously I'll video it and see how it goes. And then um, once I can pull it all into kind of this parking lot area that I have here, it's quite, it is quite large. Uh, I pull it into the parking lot area and then I can, uh, yeah, then push it up over the bank with the quad. That's kind of my thought process. So we'll see how, see how that goes. I could tell definitely uh, picking up a couple centimeters of snow, probably about an inch of snow here on the ice road. So you probably want to get that cleared off. Um, we get bigger dumps of snow, but uh, it's good to be on top of it because uh, the problem is it freezes solid. So if you get like, fortunately, it's it gets it's getting quite warm in the next few days. <clears throat> Um, so I don't have to actually uh, worry too much, but um, it, it's quite powdery quite right, right now, as you can see. But uh, I'll get the quad on top of it, and I should be able to clear a lot of it. I just, I just, my, my thought process is more down there on the road on what the real plan is. But um, we'll see you to that. But anyway, um, it's just a real short update video. Uh, I'll get more content coming for you probably next week. Um, I do appreciate you stopping by and watching this video and uh, that's another episode of the Northern Frontier. I'll see you next time.